Hey everyone, welcome to another video and a new little series that I've started. I did it a long time ago and so I deleted my channel uh, and you had these uh, type of videos in there. Uh, so I've been around for 10 years now um, on YouTube doing fragrances. My <coughs> current channel doesn't reflect that. As I said, I deleted it a few years ago uh, and then decided to start up again. This new series is basically my top five from every house uh, and I've got to I've got to a point where I've pretty much sampled or I've tried or had uh, everything that I want to try from the house of course not everything would appeal to me um, so I've made a list of um, everything from Charuti and to be honest I've had everything apart from two <laughs> and one of them is Nino Charuti. Uh, so you see it's a lot of people who, um, like Rich Mitch and, uh, and a few others that do um, like vintage pickups uh, and vintage fragrances they tend to have them. Um, uh, Chris from Scentland he's usually got a bottle or two. Uh, so I've not tried Nino Charuti but it's, it's harder to find and the prices are really relatively high. I'm not that um, bothered of trying it or not. Uh, I would like to but I'm not going to hook down a bottle and pay a lot of money for something it's just not the way I collect if you will and the other one is uh, one that's just come out actually and it's one from the 1881 line I didn't know I was just looking at the list on Fray Grant got on um, Charuti men's line and seen it um, it's uh, one from this uh, the silver range which I've got here so this is 1881 silver okay and let me say it's not on the top five but I just thought I'd show it so I've got a bottle uh, and this one is that the new one is uh, silver night and it's like a blue color so very uh, same bottles as all of the 1881 but the new one is a, uh, a blue color called silver night and that's supposed to be an aromatic fougere um, so yeah and it's got notes of like yuzu on the top so I might like that um, so uh, just to let you know now quick run through you got um, 1881 people know my channel know that I've got that uh, it's, uh, image um, I used to have image a nice fresh pear you know, shower kind of scent uh, had a bottle of that um, 1881 black had a bottle of that before uh, the essence de Saruti I had a bottle of that the original uh, put on I had a small bottle of that I think it was a 30 or 50 mil many many years ago these are I say I've never had uh, Nino Charuti signature uh, I've got uh, Bella Noe which I think is the one that's got a little bit of like a marzipan kind of smell to it um, it's either that or the um, the one with like a star in it it's, it's one or the other uh, Saruti Sai or SI uh, recently had a bottle of that it was a little 40 mil and I finished it uh, and I did do a <laughs> a video of my finished fragrances that was on it as well as a uh, Mugler Pure Havan and a few others that I'd finished the bottles I was going to put a uh, recently finished uh, fragrances video up so I threw the bottles away <coughs> editing the video and it got corrupted for some reason that footage just you just wouldn't edit or anything else so I threw the bottles away and I, could, I couldn't redo the video so I have had a 40ml bottle of SI or soy um but uh, i've recently finished that then we've got amber pour on 1881 amber pour on which i've had didn't like that so much i won't say some of them because uh, they're on the list 1881 sport really wasn't very good uh, 1881 essential wasn't very good didn't like that at all uh, and the rest are in the list so <clears throat> top five now the number five is one I haven't got, but I have um, smelt it. I think I had um, a decant once off, off somebody, maybe like a 10 mil or something. So, um, the first one being 1881 line, and it was the Fair Play. 1881 Fair Play is if you're into the 1881 or Saruti or Charuti um, house, you know Fair Play is actually a, a very well known and, and good fragrance if you can find it. So we'll go into the other four which I have actually got. So number four 
is one that I don't wear a lot because um, uh, it's heavy on leather and I'm not a leather fan when it comes to uh, fragrances however this one uh, mixes like a Lanuit de Lombs cardamom in with the leather uh, and it does work I have used it as you'll see uh, but I don't wear it a lot just because of leather I'm not the biggest leather fan and this one 1881 and this is the signature it's a lovely black bottle um, really suits the bottle uh, but really it's actually nice it's definitely got an allure inside to it with that cardamom uh, definitely masculine with that um, I would say like a rugged leather it's, it's smooth but it's still it's got like a, like a manly rugged side to it it's, it's smooth as well I think the cardamom's playing a bit there with my nose really really nice um, if you like a leathery fragrance uh, and it's strong this one as well a leathery fragrance then you like that cardamom that's in Lanouit de Lom, that's dominant in Lanouit de Lom. Combine the two, there you go, that's what you got. It's really nice, definitely alluring. I've worn it and people have gone, oh that smells good, that smells sexy. I'm not a big leather fan now, so, but I do wear it occasionally, but not as often as the others. So, uh, number three, <laughs> this one is a freshie, sort of. Um, this is a Riviera. Riviera, um, decent one. Um, it's like a fresh, it's like a fresh aquatic, but using um, to my nose like a, um, a lavender. So it's like a fresh lavender uh, with a bit of citrus, uh, uh, like a little aquatic, but not salty. Um, that's what you get sort of out of this one. Uh, number three uh, at the moment. The other two though, number two and number one are bangers. Um, <clears throat> for me everything else on the list is good like this one but the, the top two is just something else so next there this one uh, this one is a banger I keep telling people that this but you, it's hard to find so I understand why some people don't pick it up or haven't tried it but uh, it's harder to find um, I bought a load of bottles because I knew it had been discontinued no one was talking about it. Yeah, it was a it was a little gem, uh, but no one was talking. I bought a ton of them while they were cheap, like the hundred mil bottles were something like twenty five, twenty six pounds back then. Uh, your hundred mils now is like eighty, ninety pounds plus. Um, but this one, Maturity eighteen eighty one Aqua Forte. So this is a, a fresh sort of citrusy uh, style, little green, um, but strong. This one is quite strong. I worn this for um, a shift at work once, which I did 12 hours. So I was there, I think I was there for a good five or six hours. Uh, then the, the next shift come in, because uh, it's sort of overlap shifts. So there was always, uh, so, so you do like half a shift, another um, shift comes in. So you still got two of you, then you leave halfway through their shift and it was like, um, uh, girl come in, younger girl, doing something close to me uh, and says, oh you smell good, what are you going on, that smells great. I had applied that like seven hours, six, seven hours ago. Um, so, you know, pretty strong and you get a real compliment getter uh, for the line. Uh, I really enjoy this, I've got a couple of, I think I've got one more 50 mil. I think these are 50 mil. Uh, one more 50 mil and then I've got a couple of hundred mils which is just continue to rise in price so that's how I'll keep them. Okay so if you know my channel you know what number one is going to be and it's the original 1881 uh, just classic fougere fragrance um, beautiful it's actually my signature scent it's what I have worn the most throughout my lifetime and this as you can see is a big sort of 200 mil bottle right there just started um, the, the bottle I had before, 100 mils, was one of the ones that would have been in that list that I told you about uh, finished fragrances. Um, but again, <laughs> it got corrupted, so that was uh, one of the bottles in there. And I just started this big 200 mil job. And you can get the big 200 mil for like £28 or something like that, uh, if you look around. And crack and deal for what you get. Lovely, uh, fresh, um, tart, fougere. Um, beautiful stuff and my signature scent and I believe it's still the best from the line.
So there you have it, that's my top five fragrances currently uh, for Charuti. Uh, and it is, of course, number one's about 1891. I do want to try that Silver Knight. I doubt very much that it's going to compete with this fragrance. Certainly the top two. It's nowhere near, I don't, I very much doubt it. Um, this one will probably, this, this outdoes a lot of fragrances in my collection, as it's my signature. Um, even top line Chanel's, all that, I still go for this. Um, but I doubt the new Silver Knight is going to be modern perfumery, ain't like it was when these sort of things come out. Um, I doubt it's very much it's going to top any of these two. However, it could replace one of the others on the list. You know, it could replace. Uh, it's got a good chance if it's a good fragrance, it will, we may replace this just because uh, I'm not a big fan of leather. However, I appreciate how good that is. Um, it, it, might, it might knock this down, it might be top three and knock this down to four, who knows. Um, but I do want to try that one. I found one place that's got it in the UK and it's on the expensive side because it's just come out. So I don't know whether to hold off on that or get it because I don't know if it will just go away. Um, look, some of them do from Charuti. If they're not popular, they just disappear. So I don't want to take the chance and not, not try it. Um, there is one also I forgot on the list called 1881. Uh, Blanc or something like that or Blanche uh, white edition they have tried that as well uh, which I forgot to put on there and there's, there's a few others I've, I probably forgot to put on the list I have tried everything apart from the two that I mentioned so let me know uh, in the comment section what you think of the 1881 or the Charuti line in general um, leave a comment below I'll answer if I can do you like it do you not like it do you think it's a cheap nasty house do you, do you, do you like the fact that it smells decent for a good price um, or you're not really a designer fan whatever it'll be uh, put it in the comment section i'll answer you if i can so thanks for watching i really do appreciate it give me a thumbs up if you like the video subscribe if you haven't already and uh, i'll see you again soon in the next video